Hello. Today I'm going to show you how you can add your own DEP20, ERC20 or TRC20 tokens to your exchange. As you may know, on our exchange, the Total Expert exchange, you can add cryptocurrency either from coin payment or bitgo coin payment and bitgo they are third party providers the other option is that you can add your own dep20 erc20 and trc20 tokens directly without using coin payment or bitgo okay so why why do you not want to use coin payment or bitgo the problem with coin payment and bitgo is that they charge a good amount of commission during withdrawals i have seen that in some cases they charge up to six us dollar worth of crypto as commission during withdrawal this becomes a big load on users when you're trying to impose this uh, much uh, commission on your customers as the ag admin of your exchange you yourself you need to impose some level of commissions on the users if kind payment or bitgo they are imposing uh, around six US dollars worth of commission for every withdrawal you as the admin of your exchange you'd need to add your own commission with that so the total commission becomes a big amount so the best alternative is that if you can use those coins crypto coins or tokens directly with the blockchain without using coin payment or bitgo if you use them directly from blockchain without using coin payment or bitgo you'll have to pay for the transaction fees the gas fees okay now let me go ahead and show you so this is our support center right here you'll find the documentations for all the things you need for our exchange you have a documentation for configuring coin payment and bitgo and you have a documentation for adding bip20 token now i'm going to show you every step uh, from the beginning so this is bsc scan you may already know of it or heard of it uh, because every single deposits that or transaction that happen on the bip20 network you'll be able to find them using the transaction id or the sender or the receiver wallet address from here all right we'll come back to this and this is the exchange so let's first add a coin that is from bip20 network okay so let's go ahead now we have two layouts the first layout is for the exchange that does not have the EVM add-on and the second layout is for the exchange that has the EVM add-on on the layout that does not have the EVM add-on you'll find this section the coin the coin section will have coin list and coin pairs right coin list and coin pairs and let me go back to the exchange that has the EVM add-on this is the exchange that has the EVM add-on this section the coin list section the coin section has been changed to coin management and it has five subsections supported networks networks cryptocurrency coin network and coin pairs <coughs> I'll show you what to do when you have EVM when you do not have EVM okay so let's go to the exchange that does not have 
are EVM add-on. Alright. So we go ahead and we click the add new coin. At the add new coin, you'll have to select whether this coin is either crypto currency or fiat currency. If you are interested in crypto, we'll have to put the full name, we'll have to enter the coin type will have to insert the price and we'll have to select which network this is from okay now let's go to bsc scan you're looking for the well-known usdt from the bip 20. this is known here as bsc usd the binance peg all right so as you can see here here at BSC USD token this is the BIP20 token called BSC USD but is most well known as USDT the USDT from the BIP20 network okay so, so let's go back here and as you can see we have a USDT token already here available and it has been connected to coin payment network so what we do is since we already have a usdt let's add this coin with this name the bsc usd to add this i'll go ahead and click add new coin the coin full name Binance Peg, Binance Peg BSC USD. Let me copy this one. The coin full name. The coin full name is for display purposes only. I need the coin type. So coin type is BSC USD. BSC USD. Right. Get coin rate from API. What does this section do? If this coin or token is really well known, then the API will be able to find the very recent price for this coin from the network. In that case, you can leave this section enabled. That is, this exchange will try to find the latest price for this coin from API. But since you are using BIP20 token, we are talking about BIP20 tokens, it is possible that the API will not be able to find the recent price for this coin. So in that case, we will have to select no. Because I know that my token is not well known. So API will not be able to find the recent price for this token. So I selected no. I input the price in US dollar. And I know that this token has its US dollar price of 1 US dollar. So I have selected 1, I have set 1 actually. Then the coin API. On the coin API field, what I do is I select BEP20 token API. Let me show you what you can select. You can select coin payment, you can select Bitcoin API, you can select Bitgo API, you can select ERC20 token, BIP20 token, TRC20 token, Matic token. We are not using coin payment or Bitgo, we are using BIP20. So I clicked and selected BIP20 token API and I click save. As you can see, this token has been added. The BIP20 BIP20 token BSC USD. Now, if I already did not have a USDT from coin payment, mm, I could have added this coin as USDT. Now I have added this coin or token here, and let me show you what to do. I'm still at the exchange that does not have the EVM add-on. Okay. Now let me show the same process. Uh, what I do, what to do when you have the EVM add-on. 
so this is the exchange with EVM add-on on here I'll go and click cryptocurrency so I'm here at coin management and cryptocurrency at the exchange that has uh, the EVM add-on with it so I'll, I'll go and click add new currency in this exchange that has EVM add-on with it first I'll have to select crypto then the coin full name let's get the coin full name this is the coin full name then this is the coin full name the coin type let's add this coin type this is the coin type then currency decimal on the exchange that has EVM add-on you are by default you need to put a currency decimal the currency decimal is for this token is 18 currency decimal for this um, BC USD token from BIP20 network is 18 so I'll put 18 here get coin rate from API like I said <coughs> API can find the latest price only for well known coins for coins that are not well known you'll select no then on the coin price I click one then what you do you click save and you click save this will be added all right it says currently disabled for demo because um, we have disabled adding any coins on our demo exchange anyway when you said that you'll find this coin here right 